Good afternoon, family, and welcome back to Godspeed, where we provide you a weekly market overview for the Lexus LC500 and other Lexus models. Family, it's been a few weeks since our last episode. It's summer, and I just spent a lovely week cruising in the Bahamas with my family. I hope each and every one of you are having a great summer with your families as well. This week, we see the summer pricing cycle that I've mentioned so often over the past few weeks settle in even more. We actually see our first ever over 100,000 mile Lexus LC500 vehicle hit the market at $59,000. Still not that anomaly that I talked about a few weeks ago because I'm thinking that for a, over a 100,000 mile Lexus, fi, Lexus LC500, we should be down in the mid 50s, right? For the 2018s, we see the range still in that 60, but elevate a little bit to as much as $80,000 for some really, really low mileage options. Now, that's about you know 2,500 over what we've been seeing. So it's interesting to see that the 2018 seem to be ticking up in price a little bit or really, really stand strong at that mid 60 range for your entry level options. OK, several 2020 slide in the market at the mid 70s this week, which is a really good point, because if you guys recall, my my predictions are that we're going to see the 2020s, you know, really come in right in that mid to late or mid to high 70 price point. So I think this is very much evident. And we've got about three offerings out there. There's also a 2019 out there that's in that exact same price point, um, but definitely want to urge you all, if you're looking at that price point, the mid 70s, definitely take a look at the 2020s over the 2019, unless there's a perfect color combo, because you get some of those goodies we talked about a few weeks ago. Okay, now on to the 2021s. These remain in that 79,000 to mid 90s range. And if you guys recall, my predictions are is that we're going to see, hopefully, an anomaly one or two that will get us into that really mid-70s point for a hard top 2021 and maybe in the higher 70s for a convertible, really trying to crack that 80 price point for our convertible 2021s, okay? With that said, let's walk through the three options that if you're in the market this week, you absolutely want to ensure that you see these. Starting out, let's go all the way to the left and let's take a look at this 2018 LC500 sports package. This one coming in ultra white, red Alc in Alcantara interior, has the glass top on this one. It's clean, three owner. I'm, I'm highlighting this one this week because it's got the low miles that we really like. 33,000 miles. If you guys recall, for an 18, we've kind of settled in that anything under 50 thousand miles is average or I should say any 50,000 miles is going to be our average but anything under is under average this one's nicely under average uh, for the 2018 LC 500s at 33,000 miles now another reason that I'm spotlighting on this one on the show this week is because it's the lowest mileage lowest price clean owner vehicle on the market the other reason I'm spotlighting it is because I think we've got even more room for price reduction on this one. So 65 days has been at the dealer and I can't believe I'm saying this, but next week, family, end of the month. And we all know that we've seen it in the past. Those dealers are really motivated at the end of the month to try to move some of this stuff. The only thing that's more motivating than the end of the month, end of the quarter. OK, which. Let's face it, we're up on both of those next week. So I'm thinking that with some really good aggressive conversation, you could probably get this vehicle for 64 or 64.5. That's going to shave off another $1,500 to $2,000 off of this vehicle for you. Okay. And I think that's going to make a tremendous 
opportunity for somebody who's looking for an 18 in this white red combo that around 30,000 miles and hopefully about $64,000 once you're said and done. OK, so if you are looking for it, good luck on that vehicle. Now, let's go all the way to the right. Let's take a look at a 2021 option because you guys know we love to talk about the 18s and the 21s. Why? Because they're the two years that make up the majority of the vehicles that we're seeing on the marketplace. All right. Now, I'm calling out this 2021, not because it's the cheapest uh, LC 500 that you can get in that 2021 year. Remember, the actual cheapest 2021 on the market is that white red combo hard top we saw a few weeks back. It's still levitating at that seventy nine thousand price point. Haven't seen a lot of reduction on that one yet, but I'm bringing I'm spotlighting this one because it's the lowest convertible on the marketplace coming in at eighty three thousand five hundred dollars. Let's talk about the specs. This one's the performance package. OK, you got the uh, the uh, carbon fiber scuff plates on it. This one is the obsidian black. If you all recall, 2021 was the first year that we saw this new, deeper, richer black obsidian black from Lexus. The previous years, you had the caviars, which is just a slightly different color combination. You also have the black Alcantara in here. And for that triple black effect, black on black on black, you got the black rag top on the top as well so black car black rag top black interior okay this one is a clean one owner with 18,000 miles amazing and because a lot of us are motivated by the percentage that we're that we want to hit so I, I in speaking with several of you all I, you're, you're having we're having conversations like listen I really want the LC 500 that I purchased to be 25 percent less than MSRP you know, 50% less than MSRP. And what I love about this offering right here is that you're absolutely getting in on that because look, the original MSRP was $112,000. So family, I think you could probably get another thousand, fifteen hundred bucks off this one. And so let's face it, you're going to be looking to save about 30 grand from MSRP. We're only talking two years ago that this thing rolled off the, the showroom floor brand new. It's only got 18,000 miles. And if this is what you're looking for, triple black convertible, and you're able to save 30 grand off of it, I'd say that that's a good day. OK. All right. And then last but not least is, you know, we haven't talked a lot about the 2022s. Um, if you guys recall last week, or two weeks ago, we spotlighted a 2022 convertible that was silver and it was about 92,000 miles. Now, if you want to go back and look at the, the episode from two weeks ago and you love that vehicle, the price did drop by a thousand dollars. So you absolutely want to take a look at that one. But today I'm bringing you a 2022 inspiration series because not only are these very limited to 100 in quantity, but up until this week, they have been limited in price availability. So I'll say out of the gate, this is obviously going to be an opportunity for someone who's got a little bit larger budget to spend on this car. But let's talk about this real quick. We've got an Iridium, which is that beautiful special silver color created just for the 2022. So we got a custom color right there. We've got the dark rose interior, which this one's going to be a little bit different uh, then the 2024, because if you guys have been listening good, we've been talking about some of the 2024 um, features and kind of comparing those to the previous years. But this is absolutely that new red. If you guys recall, the red interior has went through the, the most metamorphosis than any of the other colors. Black has stayed black. Toasted caramel has stayed toasted caramel. And those unique color combos have stayed unique in, in color. But this red has went from Riojo red in 2018 all the way to 2021 when they came out with the circuit red, which was the brighter red. But it only was applied to the seats and the door um, uh, Alcantara inserts. What we see so far in the plans for 2024 is Lexus is actually going to come out with a complete 
dark rose red color that is all uniform on the interior of the car. They're, they're also color coding some additional pieces in the interior to make it just that much more stand out. So in 2022, guys, we get a little bit of a forward look into what Lexus is bringing to market in 2024. And you see it in this gorgeous dark, actually it's a black and dark rose. So you got this dark rose color red on the inserts, but then even if you look at the, in the, the seats, you get that dark rose stitching throughout the interior cabin as well, creating a very unique look and a quite honestly, a one of 100 look at that. Okay. Let's talk a little bit more about this inspiration series. You guys can hear I'm excited and, and here's why. Not only do you get a custom exterior color, you get a custom interior color, but listen, this was the first year Lexus gave us, in my opinion, another wheel option over the infamous 2021 one that we all have come to love and is synonymous with this vehicle. This is the first year that we got a real comparison or not comparison, competitive uh, wheel to that. Now, I know some of you guys like those, the Inspiration Black wheels that came on the earlier models of the 2021s. You know, I like those too, but not as much as this wheel. This wheel absolutely looks stunning on this car. And guess what? You're only going to be able to get it on an Inspiration series, okay? So you got that custom wheel that definitely stands out from the rest. In this one too, you also get a lot of the factory black package done for you. So in this inspiration series, they listened to a lot of what the customizing marketplace was doing to their vehicles, and they incorporated that into this inspiration series. Let me talk you through that real quick. You get the dark or the smoke chrome exterior around the grill, which everyone traditionally has either vinyl those or painted those. You get the dark black gloss grill insert, which very few people have done this option because obviously you have to paint it. Um, and then you also get, if you look deeper into the lights on this, you'll notice that instead of that, that, that grayish color that is on the outside of the majority of the LC 500's lights, this one is black and it incorporates the black that you see on the inside of the headlight lens and the tail light lens. What that does, which is a, it's just a very popular but expensive upgrade option or aftermarket option for some of our enthusiasts, but this really gives that headlight just a little bit more futuristic look to it and I absolutely love it. You go to the back of the car, the exact same thing's done back there. In addition, you also get the smoked out um, exhaust tips, which are traditionally uh, chrome or, or shiny, however you want to put those. Um, and so you really get in this vehicle a package that feels very custom over the 2021s or even the 2022s that are not an inspiration series. All right. So as you can see, I really like this, this um, vehicle, especially this one we're talking about here because it's got 8,000 miles on it. It's clean, it's a one owner. To finish out the look, the owner has already done the tint on this vehicle. And so as you guys can see, this thing is amazing. Now, up until this week, there's no way we're having this conversation any less than $110,000, $120,000. But today, family, we're looking at this hard top for $94,985. That's absurd. That, that's unheard of. And if you're thinking to yourself, wish this was a convertible, well, guess what? For $101,000, there is a, an option exactly like the one we're looking at right now, except it's convertible. So if you want to drop another six, seven grand, you can get this car in convertible. Now, these are the only two options that are extremely cheap, like what I'm talking about. I did a little bit more research and guess what? This vehicle, same combo, everything. You've got three other options or offerings on the market and each and every one is over $120,000. That's hard tops and convertibles included. So. I brought this one to our attention this week because, wow, if you've got a little bit more budget, 
and you want to spend that budget on something that gets you not only an already unique and rare um, unicorn of a vehicle like this Lexus LC 500 and step into an even more ultra rare version, here you are. I can't imagine a better way to spend about 94 grand than to get something with this low of miles, this new, and this unique. I love it. All right, family, that's our episode for this week. If you like today's video, hit that like button, definitely subscribe, and everyone have a tremendous weekend. I love you all. Godspeed.